I know when I talk about how the environment around you is neutral and then I teach you ways to manipulate in advertising or understanding when you're being manipulated in social interactions, it doesn't mean that I'm pessimistic about the world around you. I'm Justin Hitt with Inside Strategic Relations. So in the more advanced materials and one-to-one consultations I have with private clients, we do talk about the practical application of propaganda, advertising and marketing, and the ways to engineer your environment in order to best serve your needs. Now, I have to carefully screen individuals because there are people who want to manipulate to take advantage of others, and we must gateway these materials. Now, nothing that I teach is hidden. It's available in hundreds of the books I've read over the years. It's outlined in different political and propaganda uh, publications. So it's readily available if you don't get it through me. But ultimately... It's not readily understood unless we work through the practical implementation such as defining a problem that you face, identifying the root cause, and then adjusting either communications or positioning or the other elements in a business environment. Now, my focus is on the application of strategic relationships and in some cases statecraft in business environments. I have had clients who were lawyers, who were political figures, who were uh, seeking to influence for a foundation or a nonprofit. But again, we carefully screen those individuals because it doesn't matter if you're using these methods for good or you're using these methods for evil. There's always somebody who's going to bitch about what you're doing. My further point is, though, it's not pessimistic. When you understand how dialogue is used, uh, false dialogue, to support a position – So, for example, in a political campaign, when they have the debates, there could be hundreds of candidates out there to vote for, but the debates tend to narrow it down to one or two parties. And then when you look at how the debates are function and how people qualify to be in the debates, it ultimately is very favorable to those who are in established positions rather than individuals who are are in the regular world. Now, you might be saying, well, Justin, that's why the, the little guy can never win. Well, if the little guy understands that the debates are favorable to those who are in political power, they can position to get into political power before they attempt to be a part of the debates. Do you see how this works? By understanding the long chain of events, you can take the necessary actions today to get the results that you're looking for. Back to the business. If you're a small business and you want to grow and get customers, you can use these methods to understand that you need to start with those customers most highly likely to purchase the product you need because they have a massive pain. Now, it could be manipulative to find individuals with a massive pain, you know, a, a, a desire to purchase and then deliver to them garbage because their desire is so high they'll pretty much buy anything. Um, that's manipulative. We don't want to be doing that. That is the wrong kind of manipulation. But if somebody has bad habits and those bad habits will lead to a detrimental outcome and the individual wants to make a difference in their life, there's nothing wrong with amplifying the outcome so that they get the immediate help they need. So for example, drug treatment centers. Uh, There are drug treatment centers that farm People who have drug addiction in order to get insurance money, that's bad. But the same marketing they use to get people into those centers could be used to, in legitimate centers that help people to recover from addiction and live healthy and productive lives. So again, it is perspective But it's not a relative perspective to get the outcomes that you desire. Strategic relationships only works over the long term when you have mutually beneficial gains. So yes, you can use these methods for short-term manipulation. I want you to be aware when others are trying to manipulate you and how do you respond to that. But you can also use these same methods to have long-term value for a specific customer or audience base. That's why we also teach relationship realms where it starts with your relationship with yourself. If you don't have a quality relationship with yourself, if you believe you have to deceive to help people and you have to to trick people because some people are dumb and you have to do things because you're prominent and you're the outcome uh, and, and the result that everybody wants, 
then you're you're deceiving yourself. You don't have a strong and realistic, transparent relationship with yourself. Now, if you're a person who wants to be honest and and strength and, and help people and lift people up so they can be independent rather than dependent on you, if you're somebody who wants to do what is right, these things are beneficial for the long run. Now, how do we address this realization that the entire world around you is fabricated? We are literally in the matrix, not necessarily like there's there's robots controlling everything, but ultimately we're in a world that's built on our own perceptions and they sometimes conflict with other people's perceptions and then how society functions as a collaboration ultimately impacts the way the world is, but it's not permanent. None of it's permanent. We can have a bad economy this year and a good economy next year. We could have dumb political decisions this term and then next term have better political decisions. How do we handle that? First off, it starts with a philosophy that you manage your own life. Now, it's not my business to tell you my philosophy. I have to demonstrate that philosophy through my behavior and contributions to those who are in my circles. So now I didn't say my contribution to humanity because what the, what the hell is humanity anyway? My contributions need to be to the immediate environment around me, which is a reflection of my feelings and my emotions. I need to be within my friends, be true to friends, be kind to friends, be honest with friends. It is a philosophy built on my experiences, yet your philosophy can be completely different. Now, your philosophy could be based on a religious system. So if you're a Muslim, if you're a Christian, if you're a Jew, what does that mean to you? What is the belief system that you govern your life by and have you challenged it within your the context of your knowledge and have you taken the time to learn more about your religion and dedicate yourself to understanding the, the precepts, the tenets, the behaviors without ignoring the cultures and the the environments around you. Now, this kind of thing is a very esoteric topic that is not of interest at all. In fact, it attracts the wrong kind of people when we talk about this in the public. So I just want you to understand that the objective of, of this material is not to upset you, not to make you cynical about the world, not to cause you to be recluse and not trust people, but it's for you to recognize the the dynamics of the environment around you so that you can engineer your environment for maximum success in business, but in a way that's long-term sustaining, that's delivering quality and value to the people around you so that you can cultivate a relationship with customers and have continual service and exchange of value with them for a lifetime. You'll be able to recognize when political activities are interrupting that, when social movements or or other things are disingenuous, and you'll be in a position to have greater confidence that the world we live in is so much better than we perceive it to be. And and I'm not talking about Pollyanna glasses that, you know, the sun will come out tomorrow, tomorrow. You know, this is about understanding that we're in the best of times. We're in a technologically advanced world that has a a massive amount of tools that are essentially neutral. Again, they can be used for good or they can be used for bad. And it's your opportunity to think clearly, to think critically, and to focus activity and resources on bettering yourself and those around you. Now, you're not going to be able to help the whole world. That's the way things are. But you can be a good example that others can learn from so that they can help themselves. Now, what's interesting about this concept, and you can call it different things because it's come up through time, is that if the individual is good and you are sound in your thinking, that no matter what happens in the world, you will always be ahead of things. Now, it's not ahead of things as you've, you've, you're winning the weight race and you're leaving other people behind, but the world will synergistically move in your favor. It's kind of like this. If you own a vehicle and you take good care and maintenance of the vehicle, the vehicle will less likely break down. And if the vehicle breaks down, you're going to be left in alerts. You're going to have problems. But if the vehicle is well-maintained, it'll get good gas mileage, efficient use, and you'll have the benefit of the vehicle for a longer period of time. So when you're able to take care of yourself, you're better able to take care of your family. When you're better able to take care of your family, your family 
is a part of a community that improves. And ultimately, it cycles down the line like that. So if there are strong communities, there will be a strong state and a strong nation. Now, when things get out of balance and the the state is too big or the organization is too top heavy, there are challenges because when the few demand of the many, you very often will have conflict. Now, we don't need to talk, we could talk about servant leadership in other areas. We could talk about the dynamics where there, there does need to be periodically strong central authority, uh, but that strong central authority is not a broad mass of things. It's usually uh, just one or two people. And then there needs to be plenty of choice and options in life, as well as individuals who can make rational decisions about those choices. So it's a very complex world. It is a very awkward environment. Things will go bad, but ultimately over the life cycle of history, of humanity, things now are better than they've ever been. Now it is entirely possible that there were civilizations much better than we are today and they got destroyed by natural natural disaster. Uh, so uh, another emphasis that I make in these programs is that other humans are the least likely of your of your concerns and risks. Uh, there are plenty of civilizations ended by volcano, hurricanes, tornadoes, other other disasters and events. But my point being is that your ability to discern your situation and improve your situation and move forward is the number one priority of inside strategic relations. Our goal is to deliver for you the results that you desire. My hope is that your desires are beneficial for the largest number of people, starting with your home, your family, your community, your state, your nation. I want to thank you for listening. I'm Justin Hitt from Inside Strategic Relations. And yeah, this is a little uh, a little esoteric, but please do not fear the world around you. The world around you is neutral, and you as an individual, the minority of one, has the greatest power to change your situation. You might not be able to change all these other dummies out there, uh, but you can emulate good behavior, you can emulate what works, and you can ultimately benefit from what we're sharing here. If you have specific questions, I'd love to hear from you at www.insidestrategicrelations.com. Go to the contact page and ask your questions. And that's actually the preferred method of communications. You can fax, you can mail letters to us um, because much of our content is syndicated over so many platforms that I may not have the opportunity to see the the questions in the comments or the likes or subscribes or anything like that. So I want to encourage you, send me a fax, send me a letter, Contact me through the website, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode.